Hey guys, welcome to Matt Gourmet Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you guys how to bake your own sorrel cake at home. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and also click that notification bell to get notified when I upload my videos. All my ingredients that I'll be using will be listed down in the description box so you guys can just go there and check it out. Javi Beats exclusive. Here's all that I'll be using to prepare my sorrel cake. I'll be using two cups of all purpose flour, two cups of sugar. Here I'll be using some of my mixed fruits that I have been soaking for about three weeks now. You're gonna need some baking powder. Also, you're gonna need your sorrel puree. Also, I'll be using 250 grams of unsalted butter. You're gonna need one nut and egg, some almond essence, some vanilla essence, and also you're gonna need some rose water. Gonna need four eggs and also you're gonna need some cinnamon powder and here I got some lemon zest that I'll be using and also some lemon juice. Now I'm just gonna start off by creaming my unsalted butter with my cake mixer. Just guys. guys you wanna make sure your butter is at room temperature. Just guys. Now I'm just going in with my brown sugar gradually. Okay. Go ahead and mix that. Spatula, it's a thin on the side. Yes, guys. So you want it. Actually clean down the side properly. Yes, guys. I'm just gonna give it a mix again. Mix that now. Side with your spatula, just gonna make sure you get all of that. Put some that sugar, you just mix up, put it down. And just gonna mix that now. Cream, butter, and sugar, and that egg. 
Okay, and add your lemon juice and also your lemon zest. Okay. I'm just going to give that a mix again. Mix up all of that with lemon juice and that lemon zest. Okay. Side, a different container with my strainer and start to sieve my dry ingredients now. Start off with my flour. So guys, I'm going in with two and a half tablespoon of baking powder. when you grate in your nutmeg you don't want to scrape up your finger on the grater so guys I'm using the small side here So you want to do it, you want to make sure it's severe flour so you don't want your cake or sorry cake to have any lump in it. Look at that guys. I just want to a spoon and just mix that around now. Mix up all of that dry ingredients properly guys. All of that. Baking powder and that's not made and that's cinnamon that you just put in your flour. Make sure you just mix that around properly. So guys, now I'm just gonna add this now to my wet ingredients. Gradually, I'm just adding one third of it. So that does. And then you're gonna get your wooden spoon and start to mix and fold this in. Guys, I'm mix and fold it in. right back to you when I'm finished mixing in the rest of this flour into my wet ingredients. Now there you have it, I've finished mix and fold in all my flour. Yes guys, now I'm just gonna put this to the side. Now I'm going in one cup of my mixed fruits. I've already blended it guys. It's already soaked and blend up. Yes guys, I'm just going in one cup of that into my 
extra. going in it one cup of my sorry puree guys Finished mixing all my mixed fruits and my sorry puree. Now I'm just going in with some red food coloring. I'm using the liquid one, guys. I'm using quarter teaspoon of this liquid red food coloring. Guys, if you have the powder one at home, you can also use it. So I have liquid one, I'm just using quarter teaspoon. Guys, just give it a little bit of color. Now, I'm just telling you, it's smelling so nice this mixture, and I don't add the vanilla and the almond essence to it, guys. And also, I'm gonna add some white rum and the texture, looking beautiful, guys. It's smelling so nice, I'm just telling you. This is how you wanna make that sorry cake. Look at 
texture. Okay, so the, so you want your mixture to be guys. Just like that. I'll get back to you guys when I'm finished mixing up all of this the essence and the white rum that I just put in there. Yes, guys. Now here we have it guys. I've finished mixing in all my white rum into my mixture, my batter. Yes, guys. Now I'm just gonna use my spatula. So clean down the side. Yes, guys, just like that. Yes, guys. Yes, guys. So nice. Now I'm just gonna get my baking tin. Yes guys, I've already greased my baking tin. Also I'm gonna I'm gonna cut out my parchment paper. Yes guys, you just wanna add it in. There you have it guys, you want to make sure you grease the side and especially the bottom before you put in your parchment paper. It's time to pour in my mixture into my baking thing. But guys, before I do this, you want to go ahead and preheat your oven and gas mark for 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 5 minutes. Preheat that oven before you put your baking thing into the oven guys. To you guys when my oven is preheated and ready for my cake to go in the oven guys my oven is preheated and also ready to for my cake to go in so guys now you want to place your cake in the middle of your oven yes guys and also you want to have your water underneath the bottom of it in a baking tray yes guys Want to place some water underneath it to keep your cake moist. That's what you want to do, guys. I'll get right back to you when my cake is finished baking. Now, guys, my cake is finished baking after that one hour and 30 minutes. Yes, guys. Look at that, guys. I just kind of break up, but it's looking like a beauty. Yes, guys, that's how you want to bake your cake. Now here is my sourdough cake, uh, after I remove it from the oven, now I'm just going to take my knife just to see if it's finished, if it's properly baked. Yes guys, I'm just going to put it in like that. You can see guys, it's all dry, it's not wet, but you know that my cake is properly baked. Yes guys, look at that. Now guys, if you're wondering where you see my, my white rum on my red label here, because I got some in my spray bottle, guys you want to Get a spray bottle with some white rum and red label inside of it and spray your cake in the meanwhile it is warm so it can absorb all of that alcohol into it. Yes, guys, just so want to go ahead and spray. Just like that. Yes, guys, now you're just going to leave that now to cool. I'm going to leave it for about 10 to 20 minutes and I'll get right back to you guys. My cake is cool after that 20 minutes. I remove it from my baking tin. Yes, guys, I'm just gonna cut a slice of it and let you see the texture of it. Look, guys. This cake looking beautiful. Delicious. 
thanks for watching my gourmet kitchen don't forget to like share comment subscribe hit me up in the comment section tell me what you think about this sorry cake when you give it a try at home guys until next time thanks for watching